Live from your local news leader, Matthew White, Amanda Brennan, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. You're watching The Morning Show at 9 on WCIA 3. Welcome back and happy Monday. It is Monday and that means we have a Wise Guys segment. It's always a privilege to have Dave Leak join us and he wants to get you excited, but also to do this safely as we prepare for the eclipse, Dave. Yeah, we're within a month, right? And a little less time getting away and it's ticking, Dave. People are getting excited. Absolutely. My mom keeps asking me like, are you retired? Because, oh, really? Because people keep, yeah, I'm going, oh goodness. We have a One program day, right? starting at the library tomorrow and all, all kinds of crazy things happening. A lot of time. But yeah, we're going to do... Um, Three weeks of wise guys okay. to get people prepared. So this is week number one for On the Eclipse. And we want to kind of tell people what's going on Absolutely. and uh, why this is happening and why it's so rare. Right. Next week, we'll talk about where and when you can see this. Okay. And then uh, last, uh, our third week, we'll get into how to safely watch Absolutely. it. So, Can't forget so that. tune in. Keep, keep tuned in. <laughs> so as far as why this is happening, now I've done this on the show before, but uh, just to uh, show a little model, because you can we can have diagrams. I'm going to show a diagram here in a little bit. For this. But uh, yeah, I can kind of like doing it this way. So <laughs> here we got our regular globe right here and I got North America pointed at the old camera there and the moon <laughs> would be uh, about the size of a baseball. It would just okay. barely fit right across North America. Now here's the thing though, as far as the, uh, the, the separation goes, a lot of people think, eh, the moon's probably about this far away. But what I'm gonna do is put the moon over, or the uh, earth over here on your counter. Okay. So we'll put it right there. And then on this scale, the moon wouldn't be here. The moon would be, there's a baseball sitting on the ledge over there. That's how far away that thing would be, about 30 feet away. I don't know if you can get a shot of that minutes. over there. But that's, that's where it would be, way over yonder. <laughs> so that's the separation here. Okay. Now, uh, the moon is actually one of the bigger moons in the solar system, believe it or not. I think we're the fifth largest moon in the solar system. Okay. But you put it that far away, and of course, it looks a little smaller in the sky. And we've talked about this before on Wise Guys, that... A lot of people, oh, the moon is huge. And you can actually close one eye and cover the moon with your pinky finger. So even extend it at an arm's length like that. So you, okay. that's something you can do. Okay, so that uh, tells you what's going on. Now let's go to image number one that's going to show what this eclipse looks like. There's a solar eclipse where the moon is actually blocking out the sun. Now the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun is. So if you think about this baseball that we had here, put 400 of these in to end, okay. that's how big the sun would be. Wow. But it's also 400 times farther away. Okay. The sun is, that is. Right. So the sun and the moon look to be about the same size. Not exactly, but pretty close. So uh, that's why the moon can actually cover the sun like this, and that's what's going to happen on April the 8th. Really? Now, I want to go into why this is so rare. Well, first of all, let's go to image two because that kind of shows our geometry. There we go. shows this, of course, way out of scale. <laughs> but we've got the sun over here to the left, and there's the moon. And when the moon comes across uh, and we have a new moon, then uh, the shadow can fall upon the Earth, and you have to be in that shadow if you want to see this event. Okay. Now, new moon actually happened yesterday, Ooh, okay. but we didn't have an eclipse yesterday. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we have to get into why, why this yeah. is so rare. And to do that, we're going to drop our baseball. <laughs> And we got our basketball, right? Nice. Because it's March Madness. You know it. Like I yeah. said, this is kind of deflated, but but so is, so is my career, right? <laughs> like we said earlier. Yeah. So <laughs> this is going to be our Earth now, once again, way out of scale. And here we've got our, our moon. Now, the moon is the tennis ball there. Okay. And uh, so if, I, if the camera is the sun, then you could see, well, right here we'd have an eclipse because the shadow of that tennis ball would fall on the basketball. Right. Yeah. However, now I need a third hand for this, so okay. just imagine the basketball being here. We'll just do that. <laughs> the orbit of the moon has got this five degree tilt to it. Okay. And if you look at the next image, you will actually see that, that tilt. There it is right there. Now, once again, that, that's a little more than five degree angle, <laughs> right. but you get the idea. So if we go back to our camera and, you know, if our basketball is here in the middle, let's see if I can pick it up. Yeah, I don't mind helping. There we go. So if it's like that, you can see right now, that moon's shadow is not going to uh, fall on the Earth. Right. So that's sort of what happened yesterday, is the moon's shadow didn't hit us. So, uh, so uh, only when the moon is at one of these things we call the node. So here's the moon's orbit, and here's the plane of the solar system. 
when it's there, that's when we can have an eclipse. And that's what's going to happen on April 8th. Oh, April 8th. So we don't have, and you need to see this one because it's something like 2045 before we have one around you, here. So what's the, the distance in between each phenomenon? A, a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it really, it, it does vary because, you know, they say this is a once in a lifetime event. It's really right. twice in a lifetime because we had one in 2017. So okay. Will will tell you that. next week okay. what, uh, what, where you can see this. And if you stay in town, what right. you'll see. We'll t and also the times. Our week of safety. Yeah, we'll talk all about that. Um, our very last image I believe we have is uh, showing the path of this. We'll reinvestigate this next week. But as you can see, this is the path of the Totality? moon's shadow. Okay. And it goes, it's, we're going to hit some major cities. Dallas, Texas, Little Rock, wow. Arkansas, Indianapolis, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Rochester, New York. Yeah. And it's going to go through Carbondale again. They say the good Lord's a Saluki fan because they had, <laughs> they had two eclipses down there. That's so, awesome. uh, But you don't have to go all the way to Carbondale to see this. So we'll tell you about that next week. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Looking forward to it, Dave. And again, thank you for all the time. You want to try the hula hoop? <laughs> you want me to actually hula hoop it? But why not? Uh, with a tennis ball on it? So why, yeah. Oh, Oops. Lord. Let's see. My hips aren't big enough, Dave. <laughs> I appreciate all you do. Dave. <laughs> all right. See you next week. <laughs> Including embarrassing me. But still, <laughs> still to come on the morning show, our meteorologist, Adam Sherwinski, will tell you how you can go outside and hula hoop today with all that sunshine. We'll be right back. <laughs>